Welcome back from summer vacation. I'm Mr. Fields and I'll be your history teacher this year. I'm looking forward to getting to know you, having fun, and learning more about the individuals and societies that are the mysteries and the histories of our past. We'll be learning history, but we'll also be learning key skills in reading and learning to understand the sources that we read. We're doing research on topics, finding out information, drawing conclusions from the evidence, and then using that evidence to support those conclusions when we write, 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 write. We're going to write a lot too. Yeah, a lot. But we're going to start small and we're going to get more and more and more. But it's not just about the quantity of words. We're not trying to write a book. But what we want to do, we want to develop the skills to build an argument supported by evidence. There will be challenges this year. I know. For, for all, all of us. us. But we're going to make it through and we're going to make it through together. You're going to identify your obstacles and look for what path you can find to get you to success. You ask questions, you reach out for help, ask your classmates, ask your teacher, reach out for help. But we're going to work through it. We're gonna get there together. We are part of a community and whether you find little success or big success, we wanna celebrate those successes because they all matter. As your teacher, this is what you can expect in my class. I will respect you, I will listen to you, I will help you. In my class, we use laptops nearly every day. Come charged and ready to go. All of the assignments are posted in Google Classroom. If you miss a day, you know where to find them. We're gonna do a lot of writing this year. We're gonna do writing on paper and on your laptop. Some of my past students will tell you that I assign a lot of assignments, and it can be true. There might be some weeks where you have 10 or more assignments within the same week, but some assignments are small, maybe one or two words, maybe just a sentence. Some assignments are big. You're going to spend several weeks working on them. Our goals here are time management, learning to have a large project, a large task, maybe even a large concept, and break it down into smaller pieces. You'll learn how to put an action plan together, how to follow an action plan to make it easier for you to take on those larger projects and still feel confident that you know what you're doing. I make a lot of videos to help you learn and help you grow. I have a lot of fun making them, but really my goal is to make it better for you, to make it easier for you to access things outside the classroom. I don't always sing and dance for my students. But it happens. I'm not big on long lectures. I'm more likely to give you an opportunity to do research and guide you through that, helping you find what information is important, how to construct an argument, how to back up that argument with evidence that you found in your research. That's a skill you're going to need a lot in life, learning how to learn. It doesn't matter whether it's history or science or English or how to work a cash register or operate your new phone. You need to learn the skills of learning. Learning how to learn is a really important skill that I want you to take away from this class. I'm not big on homework either. I'd rather you work on it in class when I'm there to help you. If you work quickly, ask questions, and use your time wisely in class, you're not going to have homework, and you're going to be more successful. I want you to be successful, and I want you to be proud of your success this year in class. We will do it together. 